right, good morning world. It's about 6.30 in the morning on May 15th, which I think is a Sunday. It looks kind of cool, the low-hanging cloud bank right on the water, and I'm up above it. I got a little bit of dew last night, but not near as much as I did in the campsite, which is weird because I'm closer to the water, so I don't know what the deal is, but one of the guys I met at the campsite was like, oh yeah, camp under a tree, you won't get as much dew, so I have no idea if that means anything or not. Maybe. Who knows. Anyway. I had a little bit of trail mix that I'm going to eat this morning, and then I'm going to hit the road. Looks like there's restaurants about 15 miles away. Yeah, mostly things are looking good for the bike, so that's good. I got about 38 and a half volts, so that should be plenty. Sun isn't going to get down to me for a couple of hours, so I might as well get rolling. And uh, just use minimum battery as much as I can, and hopefully by the time I get to a restaurant I can park where the sun is. And we'll be good to go. So what I've been doing, when I fold up the army cot, it'll fit back here, same as normal, and then the tire pump just clips onto the top of that. I use these carabiners. Um, I have straps that I tie the cot closed with, and I just put the carabiner through the strap on the cot. Then I have little carabiners that clip the tire pump to the cot and that's it. This wheel will go between these two yellow straps but if I take it off and then I have easy access from one side I can put the backpacks in. So I've got the backpack that the sleeping bag is in is that one and then the black backpack is the clothes and that's about it. Anything else will go in the gray backpack that I'll wear. I had honestly thought that I was going to basically eliminate the backpack that I wear. But I keep finding stuff to put in it that I need, so... Yeah. But yeah. Things are going good. Nobody bothered me last night. I don't... The traffic pretty much dropped off once the sun went down. So, it's a tough road to drive in the dark, so... I think everybody, I mean, you come on Highway 1, you're, you're looking for scenery, so you don't see very much at night, so you just get to the next place and park. I can see by the other tree over there, there's another car. I don't know if it shows up or not, but... When I was just, I think I was still uploading the video, yeah, last night, I sat, I stood on this little ridge for like an hour and a half. My arm was just numb. I found literally a four-foot circle. If I stood there, I got good internet. And what I'm finding is towards sunset, I think we're getting inter interference from the sun. And then it, it's like an hour before sunset, it'll work pretty good. And then an hour after sunset, it, it works pretty good for the internet. But right at sunset, it seems like the speed just dropped right off and didn't matter where I went. But I, I'd walk over there, nothing. I'd walk over there where the bike had been parked when I first came in, nothing, right? So it was just like, yeah, if I stood like right here, I had pretty good internet. It was just the weirdest thing. So that's been my experience on this trip. It's just, you know, I'll be out on the fringe and it'll just, oh, there's a, there's a signal, you know? And a couple times I'd, my arm would get tired, I'd put the phone down on the ground or I'd walk over and grab my jacket or something like that. I'd look at the phone and it had stopped working and it went from 65% done back to 45% done. It's like, oh, it's another half an hour, you know. Just, yeah. Anyway, I've tried in the past, take a trash bag and tie it to a tree and hang the phone in the tree and that didn't work either it's just I don't know it's kind of weird cell phone booster would be a, a neat option on a bicycle I should think about that <laughs> it's just so retarded 
or you know just upload when I have better signal but since it kind of works it's like well, you know keep trying right so there's the water I never could see them but I thought I was hearing seals barking last night and that would kind of make sense in an area like this I just couldn't see them first I thought it was dogs then I'm like no it's coming more from the water I think it was seals so. it was the best white noise ever all night though I just never really got windy last night either so that was nice uh, yeah, you go that way for about 10,000 miles and you still don't hit anything that was the hardest thing when I was in the Navy, getting used to that concept. It's like, yeah, we're out here in the Pacific, you know. You'd go for weeks and not see anything. Just not even another ship sometimes. It's just a mind job. All right, let's get packed up and get out of here and go find some breakfast. All right, seven o'clock in the morning. That uh, cloud bank is rolling in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we're going that way. Wouldn't matter much, I guess. But so, yeah, doesn't make a lot of difference for me. I'm not going that fast. But hopefully, anybody else can see me. I got the got the vest on, and that's on the back of the backpack, and flags and reflectors and the lights turned on and yeah do your best <laughs> I just kind of was like packing up and I looked over and I was expecting that to burn off but it's coming in instead so yeah how about that okay just like those movies you see ah something's gonna get me Okay, we are ready. 7 o'clock, hit it. Should have breakfast by 8.30. Well, the sun is up, but it's just not hitting here yet. Kind of a trail there. No, maybe it was back there. I didn't see it. That would be a cool place to camp, as long as you knew which way the tide was going. Pelicans down in the middle there. Yeah, I had to stop. My glasses keep fogging up. All right, forward and onward. I got to say, the cool thing about being up at 7 in the morning, I've got the road just about to myself right now. There's been a few cars, but not too many. It's almost surreal out here. Oh, there's another car. Yeah, between the mist and the sun hitting the mist and glowing and shadows in the mist. Pretty cool. I'm trying to stay off the batteries as much as I can until I get some sun. In case I do get a good hill. Oh, speaking of which, here comes a hill. We'll get back to you. This is the first spot, aside from a couple bridges, where I could get a pull off and get a little bit of sun on the panels. So I think I'll take advantage of it. Right now, my legs are cold. Still got all the sweats on and everything. I'm having a hard time getting going. So I'm having a hard time pedaling. And I don't have enough solar, which is kind of weird. So, we'll let this charge for a few minutes and I'll just take a break. But it's only 
That's eight o'clock now. The sun is just coming up over the top of the hill, so that's why I got another, you know, five miles further before. I mean, if I would have stayed in camp, I would have been five miles back still. Something like that. I hit the edge of the berm a little bit, so I'm tilted towards the sun. It's not going to be a lot, but psychological as much as anything. <clears throat> All right, sign coming up. Big Sur, Monterey Peninsula, and San Francisco. Big Sur is 15 miles. I think that's where the restaurants are. There might be something closer. Monterey Peninsula is 46. There's motels there. And 162 for San Francisco. Four days, easy. <laughs> Today's the 15th, I got two weeks to get there. Okay. I ended up not staying at that uh, sunny spot. Like, well, I know how far I can push the batteries. I can get to the restaurant, and I think by the time I get to it, I'll already be riding in the sun. cup of coffee and that'll give the batteries a chance to charge. Also, it's after eight now. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock, the sun is high enough it'll be worth stopping then for a charge. At eight o'clock the sun was so low. You don't get much anyway. So if you're gonna stop for an hour do it after nine o'clock instead of before. So it doesn't make sense to sit in camp waiting for the sun to come up. That's kind of the idea. End of the day, camp a little bit early because you're tired anyway probably. You might as well get some sun then. It's the same difference though. Hour before sunset, hour before or hour after sunrise, it's about the same kind of sun, same intensity. Still burn some brake pads coming down the hill again. Okay. All right, fancy breakfast. The rest is coming. Beautiful place here. We're somewhere around Big Sur. I was kind of looking at the map and then I forgot. I went by another restaurant that wasn't open yet, and I'm like, ah, I better take the first one I see. And so here we are. Yum. Okay, this is hilarious. This is something I never would have thought of. So it's noon. I checked into a hiking bike. I think I'm at Big Sur or something. I'll, I'll look it up in a minute. This is the only spot of sunshine. <laughs> so this this area that's roped off is for hiking bike. And uh, I'm going to end up going back out to the parking spot outside, I think, uh, to charge the bike. But I'm going to let it charge here for a while. I got two nights. And I think that's the showers right there. Yeah. So, what was going on is, because I ran the batteries down so dead this morning, uh, I took my time eating breakfast at that place, which was very good and pretty expensive considering where we are. Very good burrito though. But I came out and I still only had 36 volts on the battery. And I'm like, I don't, I'm just about done. I was pedaling pretty hard and trying not to use up the battery this morning, but I still pulled it down pretty good. So I figured, all right, let me get a campsite. And I hadn't, I didn't shower at the last place thinking, okay, I'm going to push it one more day and then take a shower. And uh, so I'm really needing a shower now. So I thought, well, okay, how about we camp early, get a good charge on the battery. I'll stay two nights. Give my legs a break. Plus, I got I have to kill two weeks early. I'm not going to stay here for two weeks, but I don't need to push so hard. This was only five bucks a night, so it's like all right. I'm just going to chill out here for now, and I got some snacks for for today and tomorrow. And I might bike out, just take the the, the bike and leave the trailer, and uh, back up the hill. There was a general store, but the last 
place that I stopped for uh, cliff bars and stuff, they must have been three or four bucks a piece because I spent 30 bucks and I came out with a Coke and four cliff bars and two Snickers or something like that. I was like, whoa. You know, cliff bars are a dollar a piece if you can get to a Walmart. Yeah, anyway, this is just awesome. The last place that I stopped at, or the, the place that I camped at, the hike and bike only had officially two spots, and it was kind of unclear if you had one one spot per bike or, you know, how many spots it actually was or whatever. Because um, the other guy was saying, yeah, if there's two people registered, they might tell, tell you at the gate that it was full. <laughs> it's like, this is no good. But, uh, yeah, because when I came in, I self-registered, and I didn't even know what the deal was with the showers. This place has tokens for the showers, so I got five tokens. A token is good for five minutes, and I was telling the, the guys at the front, uh, I was like, well, shoot, five minutes, that's like three showers in the Navy, and they're like, oh, wow, yeah. But this one, it doesn't stop the timer when you stop the clock, so... We'd probably still use the whole token, but I might even use two, assuming it works and it's warm and everything, but yeah, anyway. Oh, I should look to see if I've got cell phone coverage. I didn't have it at breakfast, but I did have it a little bit coming out of where I stopped. Uh, yeah, so my thought is, Along the coast, there's not nearly as much service as I would have expected, cell phones or stores or anything else. So I don't know now if I want to... <clears throat> it's like there's not a dollar store every 15 miles like I've been used to lately. So, yeah, it's just kind of... I was all thinking, okay, I'm going to get to California and I'll be tripping over places to stop and get things and, you know, I won't have to carry as much water and get out to here. Well, and then I'm, I'm about, you know, within 150 miles of San Francisco, so it's starting to get more and more populated. Once we clear San Francisco, then it's going to open up again. So i got to decide later, not now, but do I want to stay on one, which is virtually no service as far as stores or anything, or get over to 101. Yeah. I'd like to stay on one into Oregon, because some of that road is really nice, too. But the alternative is I can probably go faster if I get off of Highway 1, which I'm not in a hurry. And it's like, well, I, first I got two weeks and then the sun trip. And then um, continue on from there, I guess. Just kind of like that. Anyway. You always get a preconceived notion and then it's always wrong. I guess is the way to think about it. Is what it is. <sighs> yeah, I was just laughing coming into here. There is no sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna sit here a spell, probably stake a camp, set up the army cot, and then probably take the trailer back out and park it in the sun. Once it's fully charged, then I can bring it back in again. It'll, I think three hours will probably top it off this time of day, so it's probably not a bad idea. So I can unload my backpacks and then just take the trailer out there and then bring the bike here, probably. Something like that. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This morning, I woke up feeling good. Six o'clock, was on the road moving by seven. But the whole next two or three hours, because of where the sun was, um, the ocean was on my left, the sun was on my right, but the hills were so high, I never got any sun in the morning. And then a couple times when it finally did, you know, there's a little gap in the in the hill, I'm like, well, it's, I, I knew places were coming up, so that I was planning on stopping for breakfast. So I thought, well, does it make sense to stop for an hour before breakfast? You know, so I kind of kept trying to push through it, but it was almost counterproductive. And then the time I got to breakfast, my legs are just wiped out. Um, 
The trailer without the load, I would be able to easily pedal it without the motor. But with, you know, tires and tools and the cot and two backpacks and water, you can pedal it a mile, but you're not going to pedal it 10 miles very far. You know, especially if you get into the hills. You know, I was in first gear a few times and I'm like, just, ugh. Even with the motor coming up some of those hills, it was pretty tight, so. Okay, I honestly, I'm tired. I didn't realize how tired I was until I, I was getting into here and I'm like, if they don't have any spaces open, you know, what are my options? I'm like, one, I really needed a shower. Two, the battery was dead. Three, I'm just tired. <sighs> I think I'll sit a spell. I'll probably come back and do a, another update later. Cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I could live like this. Okay, sit wrap, a shower. Oh my god, like a fire hose. <laughs> Plenty of pressure. Yeah, I, I could have taken three showers off of that five minutes. I, I think they're generous. It's probably more than five minutes, but first couple seconds was cold. After that, it was just perfect, really warm, awesome. So had I th thought about it sooner, I had my bike shorts and the shirt in there. I could have rinsed them off after the shower and still had plenty of water left over. So I'll remember that for next time. I bought five tokens, so I might as well probably tomorrow. Let's see, I'm staying tonight, staying tomorrow night. So, yeah. Take at least one more. And they said the tokens will work at other campsites. So, yeah, we've got a lot of California left, so I'll just hang on to them. It's cool. I might uh, I might save one for a souvenir because it says California State Parks on it. And these ones were marked for the campsite that I'm in, or at least the one I looked at. So if they're compatible with other campsites, it would make sense that each campsite would have its own tokens, but there would be crossover. So yeah, pretty slick though. Yeah, always feels good after a shower. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking if I would have had liquid soap, I could have soaped up and then started the shower and been out, of, been out of there in a minute. But you can't even shut the water off. It just keeps going until the timer runs out. So it's like, just sat there and let it soak until I finished. Then there's no warning. It's just like, it's done. So, yeah. So I guess for now, I'm just going to chill. What I did is I took the trailer back out towards the parking area where we're out of the trees. And it was getting like a three, three and a half amp charge out there. So I'll check it in about an hour and see how it's doing. Once it's fully charged, I'll bring it in and then I can run my, my phone charger off of it. And uh, I won't charge it every day. I'll just let it top off and it doesn't use very much, you know, to run the, the phone charger. So look kind of funny. I'm walking the trailer out without the bike, but of course, Nobody knows what it's supposed to look like, so it looks kind of funny anyway. Yeah. I got a cable around here to keep you from getting too close to some of the trees, I guess. They're probably just rotating the area to let it uh, recuperate or whatever. So, yeah. After going yesterday past a whole bunch of campsites that were full, I was like, man, if I get one now, you know, it's like it seems stupid to stop at noon, but I really needed the shower, and by evening they would be full. So I figured I'd just jump on one now when I had a chance. And, yeah, I mean, this is, I'm getting bugs buzzing me here a little bit. Um... Yeah, I've got like 150 miles to go in two weeks, so 10 miles a day average or something like that. I could walk there and back in the amount of time I've got, so, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, kind of a, a strategy th thinking here. Well, once I get closer to civilization, I'll have access to stores again. So I was trying to decide if I can sit in a place like this for a few days and kill some time at $5 a day. Uh, but there's no real stores. So, like, there's a... Um, there was a post office and a pub and a restaurant two miles from here. But that's going to be really expensive. And then the one I was at was further back yet. Um, I think I've ridden through here once before, and there was a really nice campsite really close to San Francisco. And I think it was pretty expensive, but if they also have a hike and bike there, it should be 5 or $10 a night. Get the shower early enough in the day in case it's cold so you can sit out in the sun and warm up instead of like shivering in the dark trying to warm up. Yeah, just in case. So get it when you can. So where I sit here and I just fall asleep. It's like, it's no, it's 2 o'clock. I can't sleep yet. So relaxing though. All right. Let's go see how the trailer is doing. Let's see if it's got a charge. It's just a nice place. I'll show you around. So they got lockers here. You can throw your stuff in. And there's a roadway there. I saw trucks pulling RV trailers in. So I guess this is one of the ways in. Uh, there's a dumpsters over there. There's a restroom and maybe a shower there. This one is the shower. Another set of dumpsters on that side. There's one, two, three, four picnic tables and fire pits. Plus one for grilling here. Another one for grilling. That's the propane tank for the showers. So Must be an on-demand heater, I guess. This bridge here is how we get in. Stairway or the ramp. If you got your bike, the ramp makes a lot more sense. When I was first coming in, I am staring at the stairs on the other side. I'm like, wait, <laughs> there's no way they would expect you to take your bike up and down the flight of stairs. And I looked around. Oh. There it is, the ramp. This is just nice. This side's a lot more open, so they, I don't know. I guess they just left all the trees in there instead of cutting them down for everybody's RV. So we got one spot for the hiking bikers. It's just a, just a neat program. All right, let's see if it's still here. Yeah, coming in, I was looking at these, I'm like that can't be right. <laughs> oh, there's a ramp. Big Sur River. And I think we're here. Yeah, this is the one we're at. And then Big Sur, and then another one up here.
All right, I'll admit it's kind of a funny thing. <laughs> um, when you're riding it, you just don't think about it. But now I'm trying to find a place to park it where I'm not completely in the way and unobstructed sun because if it gets any shadow, the, draw, the, the sun output drops way down. So I had it over around the corner a little bit behind the bench and there was just a little window where the sun was hitting it and every few minutes I'd pick it up and move it a, just a foot or something just to get the shadow off and we're up to 3, 3.39 now so almost there but it's almost 3 o'clock so it's taking longer than I would have thought but I did pull it down pretty good earlier so yeah it's just like I'm not used to trees all right, this is my look of excitement. <laughs> it is 5.30. It feels like it should be about midnight. I'm just sitting here drooling on myself. Anyway, the sun is over yonder. Basically, I'm not going to see it anymore. You, you can sit here the whole day. You, you could be a vampire in here and never have a problem with the sun. So, yeah, anyway, vampires, come here. Perfect for you. <laughs> There, I just did California a favor. Um, anyway, yeah, it's uh, just ultimate chill mode right now. I was going to jump on the bike and ride out and hit the... Apparently on, on the campground property, there's two stores. So I was going to check them out, and then I'm like, oh, I'll edit the video first, and then I didn't, and now it's 5.30, so the stores are probably closed. So I just ate my snacks, and I'll go looking tomorrow. I am thinking though I'm going to take the bike and ride up the hill. It's about two miles to the little restaurant up there. I'll do that at least once tomorrow. Because what I realized, the other days where I sat in the campsite for a whole day, it's like, it just, it's like, I'm better off riding than I am taking a day off. You know, so if I take a short day, it's okay. But if I don't do anything all day, my legs just turn to mush, it seems like. So, yeah. Which makes it really hard now. So I got two weeks and I don't want to, you know, I can't get up to, to San Francisco too soon because it'll be too expensive up there. So I'm trying to stay away from there. But I got to do short days and probably somehow figure out how to do training days where I can go on rides. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to wear everything out. <laughs> It's like, yeah, try to just do the minimum or something. Yeah, I don't know. Mind job. I think that family looks like they're ready to roll out of here. It's supposed to be hike and bike area, so you'd think, okay, no families, right, and no cars, but they're using it like a day use area. So I'm looking around, it's like, those don't look like hikers. They're four years old, and they're screaming a lot. Yeah. All the things I don't really need in my life right now. So, yeah. Campgrounds are great for kids. So I gotta remember that, you know. I can feel the peace and calm returning. It's awesome. Anyway, as always, thanks for all your support. I do appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. And remember why we're doing this. Not just for me out slacking in the woods. Although this is a this is a good excuse anyway, but um, if you know any veteran friends, check in on them. Make sure everybody's doing okay. Get them out on a bike, because I swear on the worst days, you get out on a bike, I always felt better. So you know, it's like the opposite of that was sitting in the barracks drinking beer and yelling at the TV all day. So there's a better way. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm not sure if I got enough cell phone coverage here to upload this, so I'll do it as best I can. Bye for now. And tomorrow I'll still be in the campsite, and then two day after tomorrow I'll hit the road again. And we're only about 150 miles from San Francisco now, so yeah. All right, bye.